<laughs> Hello and welcome to a Kyle Connor YouTube channel video. We are driving currently in a Cadillac Escalade V to go actually over to the Electrify America charging station in Loveland, Colorado because my Nissan Leaf is a total brick. You guys know I bought the cheapest electric car for sale in the country. It's a 2013 uh, Nissan Leaf. I was doing some cold weather experiments, parked it at just under 40% state of charge, thought it'd be totally fine, came back the next day and it was dead, zero, nothing. 12 volt died, high voltage battery died, the whole thing turned into a brick. So we have a, a mobile 12 volt charger that we're bringing with us. We're gonna push it to the Chatamo charging station. It's warmed up here, it's 37 degrees. Hopefully it won't be a total brick. And uh, we're going to try and save the leaf today. But before we do that, we need to make it a little bit warmer outside. So. <laughs> Escalade V lifestyle, baby. This is all about fear and intimidation to everyone around you. And let's just do an on-ramp. I'm going to crack the rear windows. We got it in V mode, I believe. Let's hit V mode. There we go. And we're just going to roll into it. Ready, folks, for this noise? It's freaking awesome. 6.2 liter supercharged V8. Not that fast, but holy smokes. Just a beast. I love it. So Colton, you've been driving this the last couple days. What do you think? I am just in love with this thing. Oh my God, it's crazy. That's a missile. <laughs> you know, we drive so many electric cars, we have to make up for it. Yeah. <laughs> Having some fun with V8. Anyway, you'll see a review of this coming into the future at some point, but what a machine. This is, you cannot have a bad day driving an Escalade V. Wow. It only took them 10 years too long to make this thing. Imagine if they put the old CTS V motor in it from, you know, 2007 Escalade Vs. Everyone would have bought one. Man, it's a little bit too late because now we're in the electric revolution, but I really wanted to have a go in this because... What a freaking monster. The gear shifts are crazy. Crazy. And the pops and crackles on the overrun. Anyway. Let's head to the charger and save the leaf. That's what this video is about. Saving the planet. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and we have arrived. Yeah, the brakes are smelling on this. Yeah, hello. Needs more brakes. Oh yeah. Here's the leaf. Look at the snow piles with the leaf. <laughs> nice of them to really clear around it though. Yeah. We also left a little note that's like, call us if you're going to tow it. And but. It's very and hopefully now will be the time to save it. So the Chatamo is open. And um, what we're going to do is first uh, uh, make sure it's unlocked. If it's not, I hope there's a physical key in here. I'm not totally sure. So let's take a look. It is unlocked. Good. And there is no power to this thing at all. So let's pop the hood and we'll get the 12 fold on it. There we go. That really nice hood stand. Man. That Escalade V rocks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's the last hurrah before we all go electric. This is the time we can celebrate the end of combustion with the best of engineering and longevity and noise and yep. power. I mean, it's really slow <laughs> compared to the Rivian R1S. Oh, it's not even close. Not even it's a competition. Like, like on paper, that thing is a waste of 150 grand, but as experience, I mean, it's worth half a million dollars. You just can't stop smiling in that thing. No, I know. You're just like laughing like little children on the way over here. Just incredible. So that little 12 volt, I'm going to order a new 12 volt battery for it. Yep. And I hope we don't need to order a new high voltage battery for it. It lost 40% over in, I guess, two days. Holy smokes, my friend. Which I've never seen it do before. So I'm thinking the extreme cold was, was the problem here. So you're going black first, then red. I don't know. I just go whatever. Okay. Bad. Well, let, you want me to get in there and do that? I need a hand. Need a hand? There you go. All right. I'll Why don't you guess. film? <laughs> need a hand, literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Negative on positive. 
actually, let's go positive first. So, which way is this going? Here, boom. Wow. This one on this one, and this one on this one. Boom, and shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just. Why do we not make bigger clamps? I've never understood that. I don't know. So there we go. I think it's on, right? Yep, I believe it says ready start. Okay, let's uh, hit that start button. Or maybe it means it's started. Lights are on, we're good. Will it actually start start? It says check tire pressure. Oh my God, it's showing range now. Whoa. Look at this. Here, I'll, I'll uh... if you guys remember from the video, maybe it hasn't gone up yet. It actually was completely out, showed zero range, battery was a brick, and now it's alive. So it didn't actually lose all that range overnight. It just got so cold. 12 volt. It must have been the 12 volt. The DC to DC booster was probably not strong enough for it. Yep. All right, let's, I'm going to just inch it forwards over to the charger. Got to Ace Ventura this thing. Cause like, no, it's okay. I'll just drive out the window. All right, into drive and it's moving. This is all we needed. Look at her go. The leaf. Over to the Chatamo station. I'm actually driving from the iPhone camera. This is like a video game. Okay, and we're in we're in view what we don't want to do is have the 12 volt pop off because we actually have to shut it off in order to start charging so we'll keep the 12 volt running on it i'll get the chatamo plugged in once that process goes then we're good then we go to b-dubs yep well i just tried to plug it in and it said vehicle timeout and the reason was this 12 volt actually shut off so now we're back on let me make sure and we should yeah we got lights on the inside now this poor 12 volt. This is stuck on initiating charging. So I'm going to quit out, reopen Electrify America. Come on, baby, let's go. Still stuck on initiating charging. And we've already, of course, ended the session. So I don't know what to do here. I had this the other day when I tried to plug in the ID4. This, I mean, it, they are going out of their way to make charging hard for electric car owners. There's no other way about it. Okay, come on. Look, it's still stuck. Mine did this for like three or four minutes with the ID4. What the hell? I finally had to just plug it in and tap my phone to tap it. Tap your card, pay yeah, the full price. Exactly. Oh, here we go. Now we're good. So we're going to go station number one, charger one. I believe these stickers are new. Swipe to activate. Initiating charging. Let's just make sure it recognized. I always make sure it recognizes before I plug in. There we go. We're good. And in we go here. Initiating charging. This thing's still running. And as soon as it initiated charge, what am I trying to say? As soon, as soon as it initiates the charge, it should kick on the 12 volt booster, the DC to DC. Vehicle timeout. Oh my God, this literally died right as it was going. <laughs> so I wonder I, it, if that still has charge on it though. No, it does. It's just to get you jump started. It's just a like a 30 second or a minute jump. So, because I guess they don't want you replacing your 12 volt battery with that. Okay, so we got to time this perfectly. To drive it around, maybe, to no. charge up the 12 volt? No, I think we just got to turn this on. There we go, turning on. We're going to swipe to start now, and we're going to get this process going, because we're working against the clock with that booster. In. <laughs> Let's go. Hopefully it's enough time where the 12 volt will stay powered for the communication to happen. Come on, baby. Oh no. And it's actually still on. So now the leaf won't charge. Huh. Maybe the Leaf's got some bigger issues than we thought. <laughs> I'm gonna try some things and I'll report back. The new plan is actually just to kick it on and since the high voltage battery has some charge, just to let it idle for, I don't know, 20 minutes or something, something to get it trying to charge. I don't know why the high voltage battery won't accept a charge. We could have bigger issues here than we think. And the leaf story might be ending sooner than we think, or at least the battery of this car. So we're going to keep trying. And uh, Colton's just getting it connected over here. 
I don't know. Okay, so the beeps are going. Car on, key not detected. There we go, check tire pressure. Contactors go. No warnings, no issues, just some tire pressure. And now we're down to low state of charge on the battery pack. So we're just gonna let it sit here for a minute and think about life before we do anything too crazy. Everything should be off. Other systems, yeah, that might be the 12 volt booster. But as far as I'm aware, yeah, climate control off, in park. It says it has 14 miles of range with one bar. There's no way. So we're just letting it sit, see what happens. Okay, well, I've kept the car on. I'm sitting in here. I hit initiate charge. Screens are going crazy. It just cycled. So it cycled all of the power there. Vehicle timeout. Again. Vehicle timeout. And all of this screen shut off and all these things went. Did the 12 volt shut off? So that's what did it. And the charger says vehicle timeout again. Yeah. The best, the only thing we can really do is just let this thing sit idle. I'm just going to push it back over there and we'll just keep it on. And that should be the only way to get energy in the 12 volt. Worst case, we just go and get a new 12 volt battery. I think that's probably going to be. Yeah. Okay. So I think those will be, uh, those are our next two steps. Yep. Just trying to restart the leaf and you can see it's now showing nothing on the high voltage battery, zero miles. There's no way we used 14 miles moving it an inch. So um, what I think we're gonna do is actually go and get a new 12 volt battery for it because we can't even get it to kick the high voltage connections right now. And the little 12 volt booster is trying to protect the, uh, the high voltage battery. So yeah, even if I come here, it goes into neutral, but not into uh, not into drive. It won't activate the, any of the high voltage stuff. So. I think the new plan is get a new 12 volt for it. We'll see if we can hook it up to the Chatamo maybe tomorrow. And then uh, if we can get some juice in it, then she's back to normal. If yeah. not, <laughs> that'll be a new, new episode. <laughs> okay, so we'll be back to you with more in either a few hours or days. We're not sure yet. Gotta hit her right. Yeah. Now a few days later, if you take a look down here, you'll see we got a 12 volt battery from Nissan OE part. Um, I want to say it was about $200. Yeah, it was roughly okay. just under. Yeah, And then we promised we would bring back the core to mm -hmm. them because she didn't know how to bill us without the core. Uh, so basically, as far as I think, we just need these little 10 mils to get the little uh, battery holster off and the positive and negative terminal clamps. And then we swap the battery, pull it to the Chatamo. Hopefully it charges nice and warm today, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So well above freezing. I'm trying to think what's that seven, eight, nine degrees Celsius, something like that. Yeah, but we got some weather coming our way. Yeah, it looks like there is some weather coming our way. It is New Year's Eve. So happy new year. Yeah. And um, let's go save the leaf before 2023. Yeah, that'd be a good goal. <laughs> it's a 10 year old car at this point. Wow. Yeah. Something else I was thinking happens in 2023 that's 10 years old and I can't remember what it was. Was it the first supercharger? I can't remember. Something like that. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we got the battery. We're in the e-tron cruising and what a wonderful car this is. Yeah. After it came back up with this suspension. That vlog has not been posted yet. So that'll come to you soon. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. Guys, take a look at this. We're in the Audi. Anytime you hit the throttle, it goes traction control, and I can't figure out why. You're getting all these ESP warnings for um, you know driver assistance where the car can, can stay in the lane and everything. And it kept saying ESC intervention. I'm like, we have no yaw on the car. What's going on? And now randomly, uh, you know, it's showing up anytime we go hard throttle, traction control is flashing. We do have winter tires on the vehicle, but it's been on the vehicle for over a month now we haven't had this issue so it doesn't do it at low speed only maybe at high speed where it was happening hmm. weird uh, especially as the tire pressures are fine so maybe a bug maybe good thing this is all happening now i mean it's given full power now with no esp inter intervention and nothing if i start moving it around so very very weird it's almost like you would think there's two different size tires on this car and it was just enough at that speed to make it think that they were on ice or something like that because there's no drivetrain linking front and rear axle but they're all just square stance they're all the same tire they're all brand new um, 
weird. We'll keep an eye on it, but that's odd behavior, wouldn't you say, Alyssa? Yeah, but I'm glad all this behavior is happening now because she goes in in a month. Right, that's right. It's really hard to get service appointments for really any car. Our Sprinter at Mercedes is six months wait. Oh God, this, we still need to make that appointment. I know. We really we can't use it until we get an oil change. It's actually still in Colton's friend's garage. Yeah, I totally we should forgot about it. That. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, to do. I forgot about the Sprinter. Uh, it's yeah, usually that, what happens. Yeah, given full power now. I was thinking the street looked a little empty. But, okay. Back to normal, I guess. Let's go fix the leaf. It's just over here. One of the concerns is that the leaf would be towed. It's been here for over a week now, dead. And it, they, I love that they... Stuck it in between two <laughs> snow piles. They definitely there. trolled it. Stuck, And that bolt has been here for hours. I think that's the same bolt that was full charging the other day. It's an Uber. But I'm seeing a C40 recharge, or maybe an XC40 recharge, an EV6, and the bolt, we don't need to charge the e-tron, we're just here to fix the leaf. So, um, let's see if we can. Little leafy, poor guy, he's just been sitting there for days. Yeah, the poor leaf. Nice looking uh, EV6 right there, actually. It looks awesome. And there's the bolt charging to full again. That same dude clogging up the charger. What the hell? Gosh, I wish we could just revoke their EV owner card. He <laughs> can't even barely even see it over the stuff. Yeah, let's go. Let's go open up the hood and swap the 12 volt. All right, well, there's some viewers here at the charger that we just said hello to, which is great. So really fun to see them. And now we're here and let's make sure I brought the correct size tool. Yes. Yes. Wow. And and yes, how about that? That never happens. And we even got a ratcheting one. So let's disconnect her. Hopefully it's as simple as just a swap. You don't want to hit both of them, that would suck. Mm. Okay, we're, we're out of juice now. Disconnected. Come on, baby. I don't know how old this battery is. There must be a date on it somewhere. Come on. There we go. Okay, disconnected. Now in the official owner's manual, it says you want to collect, connect a phantom 12 volt drain or uh, supply to this so that you, uh, uh, that the car doesn't lose power. But I mean, this thing's already dead. So what does it matter? Oh, wrong way. All right, let's do this and we'll swap her. Old battery is out and new battery is going in. I just need to make sure I saw what direction things were. Okay, opposite of this. That would suck. That's how you really create a brick of a leaf. And then this one, we're just gonna slide on into its place gently, of course. We'll get the, uh, the uh, brace back on there. These little hooks just slide into these. Uh... Oh, actually, I probably need to reapproach here. Can we do it? No, got to reapproach with this on that side. Very good. Okay, in the hook you go. Blunt in and number two. Come on, baby. Number two, good. Now we just need to keep a little bit of upwards pressure as we crank down on these. Look at me doing mechanical maintenance. I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle the mechanic. Next, we have to do the onboard charger so we don't have to rely on Chatamo charging for this thing, you know? Well, are we gonna be doing that? Or are we are looking yeah. to partner with somebody to do that? Timon. Oh gosh. Imagine Timon working on high voltage equipment. Ouch. Spicy. All right, so we're in here. Ooh, wrong way. Ooh. This thing's going to have some extreme racetrack use, of course. So we want to make sure that this is real nice and tight because no one knows what this thing's going to go through. All right, let's uh, hook up the negative first. I don't really think it matters. Maybe it does. Our audience will tell me I'm an idiot, which I am. Negative on, locked. Wrong way. 
Oh, no, okay. we're just swapping the 12 volt. We're good, thanks. <laughs> yeah, big man, big truck guy comes to help, help the little lead. Help the little lead. <laughs> <laughs> you made a jump, sir. I don't think your battery's 400 volts. Okay, that's pretty on there. Next one. Let's just slap around like that. You never want to do what I just did there, just for reference. Right. Perfect. Now she's got new, new health in her brand new battery. Let's not leave the old one there. No. Let's see what year it is, though. Not sure. Uh, 20, 20, 20. No, that's just a number. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't say. All right. Well, let's let's uh, throw the uh, camera on in here. Lights are on. Wow. Yeah, baby. And it's going to look for the keys. Key not detected. That's the Escalade key. Here we go. Yes. All right, go forwards. Go, go. Yeah, and it's got the juice. What? Yeah. So this was weird. I think the high voltage battery was going to some protection mode because uh, look, it shows 14 miles of range, one bar. Hmm. And so now we're going to go over here. Fingers crossed this baby charges. Turn out. Okay, so it inches. It did that last time too. Now it would be the big question. Shadow port open. Man, this is a great spec XC40, isn't it? Mm hmm. We're going to go to Electrify America. We're here way too often. Every day. Every day. <laughs> well, we're always doing tests and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> if we ha I wish they put a DC fast charger in Fort Collins. I don't think they have because our uh, demand charge rate is so bad. Yeah. We're going to activate number one, swipe to start. This is the charger that built us double yesterday. Okay, fingers crossed now that it can, it will actually charge. This has been the, always been the issue. Clicking. It's, it's locked in, but it's always gone to a vehicle like uh, support state. Oh, -ho! contactors are going. Lights are blinking. Lights are blinking. Initiating charging. Yes. And it's charging. She's alive. The leaf has been saved. It's not a brick. <laughs> How about that? It smells like one. It doesn't smell great in there. No. <laughs> and uh, my guess is, how fast do you think we're charging? 16 kilowatts. I was going to say around 20. Okay. Look at that. It says 2% plug-in, and now we're at 30. So there's definitely something weird going on with the high-voltage battery. But uh, honestly, we're just going to leave this thing here. We get a lot of juice because we got to make it back to Fort Collins. And uh, let's go to Chili's. But there you go. We'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> the leaf is saved. End of vlog. See you on the next one. Gross. <laughs> this is what helping the environment does. You drive a car that gets 30 miles of range and your hands get dirty because you don't want to dispose of batteries in parking lots. Wouldn't it be nicer to be a non-environmentalist? Yeah. <laughs> this is really gross. I don't even know what, like, there's so many different colors of brown right now. My hands, it's really it's getting to me right now. Maybe one day we can reach the point where environmentalism is actually clean. <laughs> Let's go to Starbucks. Then chili. Starbucks now. This thing's gonna take two hours to charge. I wash my hands. Yeah, wash your hands at the Starbucks. <laughs>